The command toolbar is the toolbar that allows you to select various interactive modes and make settings changes to preferences contained in the Easy Interactive Tools menu. It allows you to save your files, page up and page down, access tools, and make setting changes to the toolbar. Initialize a connected Epson document camera and choose between interactive mode and whiteboard mode. The command toolbar allows you to go back to the home screen at any time. To do so, simply click on the home icon on the command toolbar. In doing so, the home screen will open, allowing you to select files, access your Epson document camera, browse the web, etc. The command toolbar also allows you to save files. Simply select the save icon. When you do, a save dialog box will open, along with an on-screen keyboard that is part of your operating system. In the dialog box, you may select the type of file to save, such as PDF, JPEG, bitmap, PNG, or EIT file. Using the on-screen keyboard, you can key in the name of the file you wish to use. The command bar also has two arrow icons that will allow you to move the page down or back. When you click on the arrow pointing down, you will be advancing your content one page at a time. To go back, simply select the arrow pointing upward. The command bar also features a toolbox icon that is used for selecting default settings or preferences for all of Easy Interactive tools. By clicking on the toolbox, a drop-down menu will appear. The drop-down allows you to select the zoom tool, a spotlight, a screen shade. It also allows you to print, make setting changes, access the on-screen keyboard, control your networked Epson projector, do a screen capture, set your pen to function as a right-click, and find help for the EIT toolbar. Use the Zoom tool by selecting the Zoom icon. When you do, a crosshairs icon will appear on the screen. Use this crosshair to select the area on the screen you wish to show. Simply click and drag to select the area. Once you have completed this, a new window will appear with the zoomed content. You can use the Spotlight tool to focus the attention of your audience on one area of the content you are presenting. Simply click on the Spotlight icon, and the Spotlight appears. You can adjust the size of the Spotlight by touching the edge of the circle and dragging it inward to reduce the size of the Spotlight and outward to increase the size of the Spotlight. Once you have the size you want, you can move the spotlight about the page by clicking and holding anywhere on the darkened area and moving the pen about the screen. When you want to exit the spotlight, click on the red X at the upper right of the spotlight. You can use the screen shade tool to slowly reveal content that you wish to present to your audience. Simply click on the screen shade icon and the screen appears. You can move the top, sides, and bottom of the shade to reveal the desired content. To do so, Click and hold on the gray portion of the shade and move it down. To adjust from side to side, select the gray borders on the sides and move the screen to the left or right. When you want to exit the screen shade, click on the red X at the upper right of the shade. If you wish to print your presentation, you may do so by selecting the print icon. When you click on the icon, the print dialog box will appear revealing the list of all printers that you have already installed to your computer. From there, you simply select your printer and print. You can make changes to many of the default settings in the Easy Interactive Tools program by using the Settings icon. To do so, click the Settings icon. A dialog box will appear. At the top, you will see several tabs for the various options you can adjust, including General Settings, Save Settings, camera recording settings, and projector settings for your networked Epson projector. General settings allows you to select the size for the Easy Interactive Tools toolbar. Where to display the page list when you have a file with multiple pages. You can select the left or right of your projected image. You can also select the shape of your spotlight tool, square or round. You can choose to display or not display Easy Interactive Tools during a presentation. You can set the location of the command toolbar to the top or bottom of your display. 
You can also select the functionality of the side button on your interactive pen. You can set it so that Easy Interactive Tools opens when the button is pushed, or toggle back and forth between pen and mouse mode, or toggle back and forth between pen and eraser. If at any time you wish to set Easy Interactive Tools back to its original factor settings, you can do so by choosing the button that reads Restore Defaults. Using the Save Settings tab, you select the default file extension and the location on your computer where you wish to save files created using Easy Interactive Tools. You can save locations and file types for both files created when in interactive mode and files created in whiteboard mode. To do so, click on the drop-down to the right of the location folder, which will open up a folder's window from your computer. Navigate to where you wish to save the files and select the specific folder. Next, select the default file type. You can choose from EIT, JPEG, Bitmap, PDF, and PNG files. The Camera Recording Settings feature is for when you have a connected Epson document camera. This tab allows you to select where on your computer you will save recorded files. To do so, click on the drop-down to the right of the location folder, which will open up a folder's window from your computer. Navigate to where you wish to save the files and select the specific folder. The Projector Settings tab is for setting up a network Epson projector to be controlled while using Easy Interactive Tools. Once it is set up, you can use Easy Interactive Tools to do such things as power the projector on and off, use AV Mute, and adjust the speaker volume from your interactive display. You can use the Screen Capture button in Easy Interactive Tools to take a snapshot of whatever is on your screen and then import it to the whiteboard mode where you add the image to a whiteboard lesson and annotate directly on the pasted image. To do so, you select the camera icon which automatically captures all the information displayed on your screen. You then select Whiteboard Mode from the Command Toolbar, and then click on the Paste icon to copy the screen capture into your Whiteboard Workbook. By default, your pen is set to left-click anytime it is in mouse mode. If you wish to have it perform a right-click, you can use the right-click icon within the settings of Easy Interactive Tools. Another way to right-click is to place and hold the tip of your interactive pen to the board's surface for several seconds. This will enable right-click functions. You can select the Help icon within Easy Interactive Tools to access an online user's guide for the program. Using your pen, select the Help icon. Once you have accessed the user's guide, you can read or print out the information you are looking for.